We're going to get started in a seated position. Eyes can be closed or open. Glad to have you here in class today. We'll begin in meditation. Sometimes we end in meditation. Tonight we will begin. Shifting the attention to the breath in and the breath out. Notice breath in and breath out. Just start to to settle. Maybe even for the very first time today, or maybe not, but maybe for the first time, you're noticing yourself in this body. breath. And noticing that there is this body and it is breathing. practice this evening is a 45 minute flow with this opening meditation and I wanted to focus tonight on half moon because we go through phases as does the moon. And in each of those phases, there is still divinity, still majesty and beauty. And so from this space, from this knowing that we too go through phases, just continue right here to pause to notice because the phases in which we go through sometimes even happen moment by moment typically define phases as big moments linked together 
we're in a space for a while, but sometimes that is just simply not the truth. Sometimes these phases are quicker. ourself, like bring ourself into the moment we can miss even the quickest of phases which may offer us such powerful learning. So from this seated position, just continue to breathe in breathe out to observe. To be so aware. On an inhale, extend the arms up. And with an exhale, bring the left fingertips down by your side and stretch the right arm up and over. Come back through center, inhale, reaching up. Right hand down, exhale, left arm stretches over. Do that again, inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm stretches. One more, opposite direction, inhale up. Exhale, right hand down, left hand stretches. Reach both arms up on a breath. And as you exhale, stretch the arms forward, move to hands and knees, and then to downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, begin to notice the way the body feels in, in this place, in this phase. mat becomes like a microcosm, a way in which to pay attention to the larger world, to the larger phases. From downward facing dog, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, step walk or jump the feet to your hands. Halfway lift on a breath. Exhale and fold. Rise to standing. Inhale, press down. Reach all of the way up. Take that same stretch we took seated. Exhale, left hand down by your side. Right fingertips reach. Inhale, up through center. Exhale in the opposite direction. Reaching the arms up on an inhale. Maybe even look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to the top of a push-up. Knees can come down and pause. Notice the breath here. Because each place we step into, each pose in a yoga practice becomes an opportunity to notice. It's a way of cultivating attention as we come in and out of phases, no matter how long they are, from plank, take a breath in. Exhale, lower all of the way to the mat. Bring the fingers off of the mat and inhale, lift the heart up into cobra. Exhale, lower down, sometimes called striking cobra, with fingertips off of the mat. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower down. Two more just like that. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower down. One more. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, as you lower, slide the hands in. Shift back through knees or through plank to downward facing dog. This 45 minute flow will, will get your heart racing. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step walker, jump the feet to your hands. Just another phase. Halfway lift on a breath. Exhale, empty out and fold. Rise to standing, inhale, press down, reach up. 
Left arm down, exhale, right arm stretches over. Come up through center, take the stretch in the opposite direction. Inhale, reaching up to center, maybe look up, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift on a breath. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to the top of a push-up. Pause, knees can come down, feel the back side of your body lift up. Take a deep belly breath in. Exhale, lower to the mat in one piece. Slide the fingertips off the mat. Inhale, lift to that striking cobra. Exhale, lower down. You're on the tops of your feet. Do it again. Inhale, lift the heart, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Slide the hands in through knees or through plank. Downward facing dog. You'll notice as you bring awareness to each moment, these subtle shifts. A little more heartbeat, right? That rate kicks up, maybe the breath. You might notice a temperature change. Each phase we get to experience from down dog, take a breath in. Exhale, step walker, jump the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, empty out and fold, rise to standing. This time, bend the knees and sit to chair and also open up the arms. So this gate pose, well not gate pose, these arms sometimes like, <laughs> what's the word I'm finding? Like oh, goal post, not gate, goal post arms, yeah. You're in chair, take a full breath in, open up across the heart, exhale, contract into center. Keep the knees bent, open up the arms again, lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, contract it in. Rise to standing, press down, reach up. Keep both arms lifted and just kind of tuck the body over to the left. Inhale up through center. Exhale to the right. Come back to center on an inhale. Swan dive, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift on a breath. Exhale, plant the hands to plank or modified. Pause. So as you tune in to breath, to body, to all of this noticing that occurs, it just becomes a way to cultivate attention, to change the, the patterning, the pathways in the brain. You're in plank or in modified, take a breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Just one time, fingertips off the mat. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, slide the hands in through knees or through plank to downward facing dog. We're gonna keep moving, take a breath in. Exhale, step walk or jump the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Rise to standing, inhale, press down, reach up. I've got my languaging down now. Exhale, bend the knees, goal post the arms. Take a full belly breath in. Exhale, contract it into center. Come back to standing. Inhale, arms reach up. That little tuck over to the left as you exhale. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Come all the way back up. And this time, pause in standing. Your arms are reaching up. You're grounding down through your feet. Lift the right leg up in front of you. Now, your knee can be bent or your leg can be straight out in front of you. But I want you to notice here with this leg lifted in front of you, if you're popping your left thigh bone forward, hug the left thigh bone back and the left hip bone back. And then just take that right leg that's in front of you, just swing it to the side. The knee can be bent or it can be straight, but feel yourself draw over to the left a little bit, even with that leg out to the side. That's it, stay there, take a full breath in. Swing the leg back to the front of you. Exhale, place the right foot next to the left. Inhale, arms reach up and keep the arms lifted. Pause here as you exhale. From this standing upright position, lift the left leg in front of you, but hug the right sit bone and the right hip bone back. With that left leg up in front of you, notice that you've got your belly button right over your standing ankle. Arms are reaching up, notice the breath. And then just take that left leg, either bent or straight, out to the side. Keeping the draw to the right side of the body. So as we move the body in these different shapes, we have this remaining place in the center. As you take a breath in, sweep the left leg in front of you. 
Exhale, left foot meets right, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back to plank or modified. Take a deep belly breath in. And as you exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Now you can do that striking cobra if you lower it all the way down or up dog, open up across the heart. Draw the belly in. Exhale, shift back through knees or through plank to downward facing dog. Keeping it moving, lift the right leg up from down dog. All right, now notice what shifted in the body. Keep equal weight in the hands. The right leg is lifted behind you in down dog, so feel a draw over to the left side slightly. Now, that right leg that's lifted straight behind you, start to reach it toward the right side of your room, but keep pulling everything back to center. Right, there's this draw, kind of how the water and the moon, the phases pull each other with the tide, but remaining in that center space. Now that right leg's out to the side, bring it all of the way forward. You have to move it around the right foot, place it in between your hands, rise up to crescent lunge. It's a heck of a way to get to crescent lunge, huh? So from crescent lunge, get the belly button centered. Right foot's forward, left foot's back. Stretch up through the arms. Take a deep belly breath in. And as you exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Expand through the hands, take a deep breath in. And with an exhale, bring the left hand down on the inside of the right foot and stretch the right arm up. And then extend the right arm over the ear. Come back up to crescent lunge, take a full breath in. And on the exhale, bring your hands down. Step the right foot back to meet the left. You're on the top of a push-up, you can stay here or take it through that flow, lowering halfway or all the way, striking cobra or regular cobra or up dog, through knees or through plank to downward facing dog. Equal weight in the hands, lift the left leg up. Draw everything into center. With that left leg lifted, also pull the waistline back a little bit. Now, with the left leg lifted back behind you, carry the left leg out to the side and notice where the body gets pulled and where's the breath. Now, place the left foot in between the hands. You're going to work it around the left hand and rise all the way up to high crescent lunge. Draw the body back slightly. Feel the belly button line up in the center. Take a full breath in. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back expanding through the heart flip the right palm inhale stretch it back and then exhale right hand on the inside of the left foot stretch the left arm up and then extend the left arm all the way out over the ear a long line of energy come all the way back up to crescent lunge on a breath and you always have a choice move through that vinyasa flow step back to plank hold it in plank or go right back to downward facing dog you're just moving through each of these poses, the sequence from downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step walk or jump the feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, empty out and fold. Rise to standing, inhale, press down, reach up, bend the knees, sit to chair, goal post the arms. Take a breath in, expand through the heart. Exhale, contract into center. Come all the way to standing. Inhale, reach it up. Take a little tick over to the left. Inhale to center, over to the right. Come all the way back up and pause. Notice as the class progresses and moves through what the changes are in your body. Always aware of that body. Lift the right leg up in front of you. Hug the left thigh bone back and the belly button back. Carry the right leg out to the side, but keep drawing into center. Lift the chest a little higher. Carry the right leg back to center, take a breath in. Place it down next to your left foot as you exhale. If the arms are down, reach them back up again and lift the left leg up in front of you. Notice the way the right thigh bone draws back 
Keep lifting through the heart, and as you carry the left leg to the side in the air, feel everything draw into center. Taking a very full belly breath in, and a long breath out. Carry the left leg back in front of you, take a breath in. This exhale, left foot meets right, fold forward. On an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank or modified. Really notice the heat in the body, taking full breaths in and long breaths out. Draw a deep breath in. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Just this noticing, come through to cobra or up dog or that striking. Exhale through knees or through plank, down dog. We're just gonna keep moving through. On an inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, carry the right leg off to the side. Really feel the left side body, body draw to center. Place the right foot in between your hands. Inhale, reach up to crescent lunge. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Flip the left palm, inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, left hand down on the inside of the right foot. Extend the right arm out over the ear. Come up to crescent lunge, the right foot's forward. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, hover the belly over the right thigh. The arms are forward. The belly's hovered in. Come up to warrior three, straighten the right leg, lift the left. All right, you're in warrior three, standing at the top of your mat. Right foot's forward, left leg's lifted. Hands are either at heart center, arms are extended out in front of you. Come all the way to standing and sweep the left leg up in front of you. Hug the right thigh bone back. You're balancing at the top of your mat on the right foot. Carry the left leg out to the side. You know where we're going? We're going to half moon. From here, the left leg extends back behind you. The left hip stacks over the right. The right hand doesn't have to come down to the floor. It can come to the right thigh, the right shin. But feel the belly button lining up in the center, stacking the hips, opening up across the heart. From half moon, take a deep belly breath in and a long breath out. Come back up to standing at the top of the mat. Lift the left leg up in front of you, balancing at the top of the mat. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh and bend the right knee, hands to heart center, standing pigeon. Opening up across the heart, balancing on the right foot, the left ankle over the right thigh, breath fluid. Take a full breath in. And a long breath out, left foot meets right. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold forward. On an inhale, halfway lift. And then move through vinyasa or step right back to downward facing dog. Just moving through to notice breath by breath. The way we move through the phases of our life with awareness to notice. From downward facing dog on an inhale, lift the left leg up. As you exhale, carry the left leg to the side, but keep navigating to center and then place the left foot in between the hands. Rise up to crescent lunge on an inhale. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Flip the right palm. Inhale, lift, stretch up and back. Exhale, right hand on the inside of the left foot. The left arm stretches up and over. Come up to crescent lunge, take a breath in. Hover the belly over the left thigh as you exhale. Arms extended or hands to heart center. Full breath in right here. And then come all the way up into warrior three. Left foot's down, right leg's lifted. Arms are either reaching forward or hands are at heart center and you're noticing breath. You're gonna bring in just a moment, not yet, hold out in warrior three. All right, now sweep the right leg up in front of you. Navigate the left thigh bone back, feel the back body liven up, lift through the heart, and then that right leg starts to open up into half moon, stacking right hip over left, 
Left hand can be to shin or quad. Doesn't have to go to the floor. Expand, stacking shoulders and stacking hips and noticing this full breath in and this long breath out. Come back up to center. Sweep the right leg up in front of you. Inhale, reach it up. Press the right ankle over the left thigh. Bend the left knee generously. Noticing here the stretch in the right hip, the opening up across the heart. These different phases, these different places to experience. Pause here, notice your breath. Take another full belly breath in. And as you exhale, right foot meets left, but come into chair with your hands to heart center and then soften the way the fingertips meet. Take the gripping out of the toes, maybe the gripping out of the jaw. Draw the belly forward on an inhale. Take the outside of the left arm against the right leg to twist. Even out the hip bones, the sit bones, the knees. Spread open across the heart. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Come back to center, maintain chair, full breath in. Twist outside of the right arm against the left leg. And as you pause here, you have to open up even in a place that feels like it would be much easier to collapse into. From this twisted chair, draw a full breath in. Take a long breath out, come to standing. Inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, interlace the hands to the low back, widen the feet, broaden across the chest and forward fold. Let the head and neck release. Breathe here. Just feeling this openness across the heart, taking full breaths in and long breaths out this time to acknowledge all of the ways, all of the ways in which we move through our life and all the ways in which we move through the years and the months and the weeks and the days and the hours, each a long or short phase, it's an opportunity. From this forward fold, take a deep belly breath in. Exhale, release the hands down, bring the feet back to hip bone distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Move through vinyasa or step directly back to downward facing dog. All right. We're almost done this 45 minute phase of a class. On an inhale, lift the right leg up. You'll know this. Exhale, carry the right leg to the right side, navigating center. Keep it moving, place it in between the hands. Rise up, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Flip the left palm, inhale, lift, stretch up and back. We're going to revolve half moon. So from here, the left hand goes on the outside of the right leg. You are facing the right side of your room. The left leg lifts up, so it's a twist with the left leg lifted behind you, the left hand down on the outside of the right foot. It can balance on the right shin. Stay here, take a breath in. All right, come up to standing, left leg lifts. You're at the top of your mat, right foot's down, left leg's lifted, breath in. From here, half moon. Bring the right hand to your heart, kick the left leg back, open up. You're facing the left side of your room now. Left shoulder stacked over right, left hip stacked over right. It's that opening up. From here, draw a full breath in. Come back to center, lift the left leg up in front of you on an inhale. Cross the outside of the left ankle against the right thigh, bend the right knee. Open up across the hips and the heart and breathe. 
just moving through this flow, this opportunity. From here, draw a breath in and take a breath out. Come to standing, two feet on the mat. Inhale, both arms reach up. Big swan dive, exhale, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Make your way back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog on an inhale, notice the weight in your hands and lift the left leg up. Carry it to the side, keep navigating center. Place the left foot in between the hands. Rise up crescent lunge on an inhale. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Flip the right palm, inhale, lift, reach up and back. Revolved half moon, exhale, right hand on the outside of the left leg. Straighten the left leg and lift the right. You're facing the left side of the room with your chest. The right leg's lifted back behind you like warrior three in the hips, but the torso's twisting. Take another breath in and another breath out. Come to standing, lift the right leg up in front of you on an inhale, and then carry it out to the side, coming into half moon, maybe left hand to the heart, right arm reaches up, stacking right shoulder over left and right hip over left, opening to the right side of your room. Noticing breath. All right. Come back to center. Lift the right leg up in front of you. It just floats in. Take the outside of the right ankle against the left thigh. Bend the left knee. Soften the shoulders. Soften the face. Aware of the way we move through pose by pose. Breath by breath. Take another full breath in. In a long breath out. When you step the right foot down, make a wide stance. Maybe the feet are even off of the mat and let the hands find one another again behind the back. So wide leg forward, fold all the way down. Let the head and neck release. And the way we move through these poses, this reminder of the phases of the moon. How we too move through phases. And the work becomes to really presence ourselves to the way we feel in each phase, to really notice it. And it's from that space that we get to know all of who we are from that wide leg forward fold, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Bring both hands down in front of you and catch your elbows. Now you can keep your legs wide or bring your feet in closer. But just let the weight of your upper body, the arms, just let it all just release you down. So from here you breathe in and you take a full breath out. One more just like that, deep belly breath in. From here, you, you like this, right? You're gonna exhale and roll right onto your back into happy baby. Happy baby, you just catch your feet. Just catch your feet, you're laying on your back, your knees are bent, the soles of your feet are uh, facing up toward the ceiling and you catch the tops of your feet, the outsides of the feet with your hands. You're laying down on your back. Happy baby. And just noticing the inhale. And noticing the exhale. Just this opportunity to settle. Maybe even swaying back and forth.
drawing a deep belly breath in and a full breath out still laying down let the arms come down by your side but draw the legs lifted in the air so the legs are straight and they're together like you're standing laying the back down softening the shoulders if you notice your chin's lifted really high maybe tuck the chin slightly and feel the back ease its way down onto the mat with the legs lifted straight up. Unhinge the jaw. Soften the space in between the eyes. Take a deep belly breath in and a long breath out. And now bend the knees so the feet place uh, our face toward the front of your room, the top of your mat. Your feet are in the air. Bring the arms out to the side to a T and drop both knees over to the right and look to the left. Eyes can close if they're open. the sensations as you stretch with a little bit of passiveness in that left side. Maybe you can soften the rib cage slightly. Draw the legs through center and to the opposite side to the left as the right ear comes down to the mat. So as you notice here, this breath in and breath out, and as you also notice the sensations in the body, notice these phases. back to center and then extend one down to the earth and then the other taking a deep breath in and a long breath out
breath in and breath out. Maybe you bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly. The moon is a loyal companion. It never leaves. It's always there watching steadfast, knowing us in our light and dark moments changing forever just as we do. Every day it's a different version of itself, sometimes weak and wane, sometimes strong and full of light. The moon understands what it means to be human. Uncertain, cratered by imperfections. Start to slowly roll to your right side. And just pause. Just acknowledging the phases of the practice. The way in which we move and navigate through. But always noticing where center is. Making your way up to a seated position, your hands can either come to heart center or they can rest in your lap where we will pause for just a few moments, maybe again closing the eyes or bowing the head. you speak become the house you live in. The light and the truth in me honors and sees that in each of you. Thank you so much for joining me and make sure to visit all of the teachers Facebook pages as well as our YouTube page. We appreciate your support now and always. Namaste.